Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to day 60 of commercial diving school. This is the end of week 12 and we are now seniors. So I'm gonna tell you about everything that we did today in this video. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and leave any comments or questions for me down below. So that's right, we're seniors now. Um, it's official. Um, we're gonna start burning and, and welding underwater next week. So if you guys are looking forward to that, that's happening next week. Um, we also have a couple privileges now that we're seniors. We get to park up by the school. So by the little uh, fish market, there's like a parking lot like um, right next to the school. So we actually get to park there instead of having to park a mile down the road and then get picked up by a van and then get driven over to the school every morning and then get driven back every evening uh, to go back to our cars, we can park like literally at the school now. Um, we can also wear shorts now, so we don't have to wear long uh, jeans, you know, every single day we can wear like shorts. So definitely looking forward to that. Um, it's been a long time coming and we finally earned that. So i um, really excited. So um, also I'm gonna tell you about uh, everything that we did today. We did a few different things um, as far as welding and grinding and burning. Um, we did, like we set up our projects for, some, for next week when we're underwater welding. So I'll tell you about that. Um, we also actually did get a project going, um, like a project project. Um, so I'll tell you about that. Hint, it's like a scythe you know, kind of like the Grim Reaper. I'll tell you about that in a minute. And then um, also I had like a personal thing that I was working on myself. So I'll tell you about that too. And I'll even show you what it looks like because I got the piece right here. So um, first of all, I'll tell you that um, we basically had to use five um, like long uh, pieces of, um, basically it was steel, it was a, like a quarter inch thick and um, we had to weld them all together so so there's five pieces so you you have one on the bottom you stack it and then you stack one on that and then you have you tack like t's on the top one and a t on the bottom and basically it's you know a bunch of metal pieces tacked together and that is going to be used for our welding underwater next week so basically we're gonna take that piece that we tacked all together today and we're gonna take that in the water with us um, in the tank where we're gonna be underwater welding and we're gonna finish like the joints of all of that metal piece. So there's about eight joints on there. And so what we're gonna do is fill in each joint and then the instructor is gonna look at it um, everybody's individually and see how we did and everything so that's one thing that we're gonna be doing so just to let you know um, and I'll definitely try to show you guys my finished project my pr finished finished product after I'm done welding it in the water um, so anyways um, also we did the scythe um, we actually had two different kind of projects I don't know if you guys remember me telling you guys but um, other classes have done like swords other classes have done um, a big battle axe uh, but we were kind of scrambling um, at the end of the day because half of today we got rained out again so basically when it's high tide um, the water just like comes over the um, concrete like seawall and it just like floods the whole entire welding area so um, we basically ha missed out on another half a day of welding and that was our time to weld. So we missed out on basically half of yesterday, half this morning. So, um, that's, I mean, that's a whole day wasted that we could have spent learning how to weld better and stuff like that. But anyways, we managed to, within like a couple hours, put together two kind of, um, projects. Um, one is kind of like a pipe and then I actually burned like the middle part is like zigzagged 
um, and I'll try to get a picture for you guys so you can guys can see what that looks like um, and then on the end it's kind of like a kind of like a scythe like a, like if you can imagine like a curved blade but it's not really a blade because you can't make something sharp because then it would be a weapon anyways they spray painted it like a chrome color so it actually does look like it was covered in aluminum foil but they just spray painted it um, the other one was actually cool it was like they tacked all the chains so that the chains were stiff so it would make a long handle and then they kind of wrapped the top of the chain around like another like scythe looking thing um, so it's kind of like the grim reapers thing but again it can't be sharp so um it's just like you know the shape of a scythe but it actually looks kind of cool we didn't get a get a chance to clean it up and make it look nice because we literally finished it like um, the guys that were working on it finished it like at the last minute like literally they were like okay finished up the last weld and like they were turning off the welding machine when they were trying to finish up the last weld on it so um definitely ran out of time but anyways that was kind of our project but for me what i kind of got working on today was um in my last video i was telling you guys about like a fillet weld kind of thing um i think it's actually called a butt joint and i'll show you what i mean in a minute um i actually have it right here so in my last video i was telling you that um, I had two of these like square pieces and I was going to put it on like a long piece um, and basically you put a tack here, here, and then here and here but you don't tack in the center um, and then you tack on the back, you tack six joint like places like here, 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 here um, and then your important welding is in the center so what I did was, um, it's kind of like a bevel, so it's kind of like like this in this middle part um, all the way down. And basically I put one weld in there and then I started stacking weld here, weld there. And then I did one, two, three, and then I did like another one, two, three. And that's where I got that right there. You're actually supposed to ba break, break this back plate off. Um, and then you're supposed to do like a bend test on both these two pieces um, to see if it like how good your weld is and stuff like that. Um, it looks pretty ugly too, but I didn't really get a chance to clean up all the spatter and stuff like that and make it look a lot nicer um, because I literally, like I said, the guys that were finishing up their project finished at the last minute and so did I like I just put my last weld on and then they cut off the machine so um, anyways this week has been awesome I really loved it um, had so much fun uh, and I'm so glad I'm now a senior and I can move on to underwater welding and I'm excited for that um, got a lot of videos coming up like I took more video footage of welding today um, but I'm going to edit it all together and um, upload it uh, this weekend. And then I got my week 11, week 12 video, excuse me, um, coming out. And then I also have month three video coming out. Um, so I got those videos this weekend. And But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, leave any comments or questions for me down below if you have any questions about anything that we did you know during the welding week or underwater welding for next week let me know um, but yeah I hope you guys have a great one and I'll see you in the next video peace